Hey gents, even with the snow outside, it's never too early to get ready for spring. Today we're gonna take a look at some new Jay Butler shoes that were sent over. And these have become my like go-to, I just associate these with Christmas because I got them around Christmas time last year. But friend of the channel, Daniel, let me know that there aren't really any reviews of Jay Butler's leather shoes out there, so I have the red suede here, I have the blue tie loafers that I really like, Those have, I've had those for almost two years. So I just wanna open these up, talk about them a little bit in the context of the loafer market, and then as springtime comes and I get more wear on these, uh, I'll do a follow up because I have a pair of Beckett Simenon loafers that I really like, uh, and I like to compare the two, a little fun showdown. So uh, let's open these up. I like having the table over there, but I also uh, can just open them. Jay Butler shoes come in at 195. They are uh, suede or leather. They're fully leather lined. They are Blake stitched. They have hand sewn uppers in a traditional moccasin style. And look at that. Got the uh, silver bit. So I have the gold bit and the red suede. I don't really have this brown in a loafer. Beautiful. Let's get them on the feet. And I ordered a size 12 in these because uh, I know the size 12s fit from my other two. And so let's get them on. Handy. So what can I really say? They fit like the slippers I expected based on how my other Jay Butlers fit. And I really like the leather finish on this because I love the suede but it's also nice to have some variation. The leather on this reminds me a lot of the leather, the box calf leather from my Speared McKay shoes. It has a very similar finish and look to it. It's also nice and lightweight. It's a soft, supple leather, and you can see in the detail shots some of the hand stitching details around that moccasin toe. It's funny to see a fresh footbed within here because I'm so used to seeing uh, my, the one that I've worn for almost two years, but I can tell you that over time it gets very comfortable uh, and you can just see kind of the wear on there. I wear these not daily in the summer, but almost daily in the summer. Looks very nice now, but I know what it'll look like after uh, a year or so. And so I just wanted to give you a quick update on this. Nobody really has a video about the leather of the Jay Butler shoes. Impressed so far, 195 I think is a great value for these shoes, especially as you know Gucci continues to go up in price. This isn't Gucci leather, but it's also not $600. And so uh, I'll wear these quite a bit as we get into spring, and then I'll do some more. Let me know which brands I might consider around this price point. Uh, I know there's several out there, and I'm looking forward to hearing from you guys down in the comments. You can also reach out at the underscore Cavalier on Twitter and Instagram. Love to talk to you guys over there. Until next time, gents, this is the Cavalier.